the Kennedy administration will begin to back the U.S. dollar with real finite assets such as gold, silver, platinum, and Bitcoin, which is the world's hardest liquid asset to strengthen the U.S. dollar and guarantee its continued success as a world reserve currency. My plan would be to start very, very small. Perhaps 1% of issued T-bills would be backed by hard currency, by gold, silver, platinum, or Bitcoin. And then depending on the outcome, we would increase that annually. And what this will do is we will be able to use Bitcoin to help save the U.S. dollar. We've lived it here so many times where politicians promise something and of course it just doesn't happen often. He's hitting the nail on the head that our system has an issue with the way the money works, the central bank system and the printing money, and we have no basis for our fiat currency. There's nothing of value except the backing of it and the, the, the belief in it. And for us to actually go and switch over back to a standard where you have your currency actually attached to something like the BRICS have been talking about, it's a major undertaking. And quite honestly, there's not a lot of incentive for the system to change. Um, and so you have both the red tape and little incentive for them to do this. So as much as I love to hear it and I love to see it happen where we do switch over to a Bitcoin specifically uh, back currency, it's a pretty long road. And for a four year term for somebody, that's a long putt. Now that said, I do appreciate the fact that he's putting himself out there. This will not be a popular narrative in the circles he runs in. So it's uh, it's interesting to say the least. The currency isn't gonna be really backed by Bitcoin. They're gonna put 1% of Bitcoin on the Federal Reserve balance sheet, okay? That's 1% more than they have already, but it's not a big number in terms of percentages, in terms of the size of the balance sheet, it's monumental. If everybody in the world put 1% of their net worth in Bitcoin, 1% of global financial assets of 900 trillion is $9 trillion. $9 trillion divided by 21 million coins is 450,000 to 500,000. Basically the market cap of gold at 10 trillion, nine to $10 trillion. So it's big, it's really big, but it ain't backing the currency per se. Everybody missed the narrative. The narrative is, Sovereign bonds are programmed to debase, and if you want to hold a valuable asset on your balance sheet, you hold the hardest asset ever created called Bitcoin. And you can also throw in a little bit of silver, and to make Larry Lapard happy, you'll put a little bit of gold in there too. And you know what? You put might put some of my mom's fine china in there, and maybe a piece of fine art that's also a hard asset. It's the concept, it's the narrative. This is fucking huge. Wow. Is he gonna win? Probably not, but the narrative is getting out there. Central banks need to hold hard assets, not soft assets. What are soft assets? Bonds, what are hard assets? Gold, silver, commodities, oil. The best one, Bitcoin, giddy up.